welcome back to my channel for another video if this is your first time stopping by my name is Janika I'm a special ed teacher in Texas and my YouTube channel is about making money managing money sometimes we throw little vlogs in there but yeah so today we are going to um, stuff all 15 of my sinking funds I'm also going to show you all where I am on my revolving funds because I have not done a budget by paycheck video um, if you watched my June budget which I have linked below um, in that video I just kind of explain how I get paid bi-weekly so sometimes um, at certain parts of the year my paychecks are very wonky and like my second paycheck of the month will really go towards the next paychecks bit uh, the next month's bills the first of the the first of the next month so that's kind of where I am right now it makes uh, <laughs> doing budget by paycheck videos very difficult um, when I come around that time of the year so I'm hoping that the paychecks kind of normalize in the next couple of months but we'll just have to see so if you like these videos Go ahead and hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and let's get started okay so this is my pink moterm a7 six ring binder this is where i keep my revolving front funds so i have spending gas groceries home and medicine so in spending i think i only have like yeah i have one two three four dollars left in spending and I do layer the money in the envelopes just so that the envelope doesn't get too chunky for me. In gas, I'm doing really well. I told y'all, see, in my last video, uh, I let y'all know that I won't. It's summertime, so teachers are, I'm, teachers are not working. I'm not working. I'm not having to drive to work, which is like 35 minutes from where I live. So, yeah, gas is looking amazing. I have $75 left in gas. I haven't spent anything. Um, obviously I haven't been to work all week this is my first week off but yeah that's amazing that's gonna go right back into my savings account groceries I usually take that money out and do it online so I don't have anything in there and I think I spent $63 in groceries if I'm not mistaken and then home I still have my 20 I do need some things I just have not made my way to the store but I do need a few things. Hopefully that's enough. And then medicine, I actually used part of this for spending, which I know some people are really strict with the cash envelopes and you know, never pull from another envelope if they need something. But to me, I just feel like this journey should not have to be stressful like that. So if I have to pull something from another envelope, I will. So I have $4 left in medicine, but I did not spend it on medicine. I spent it on food <laughs> so that's that now getting into the um, cash envelopes and well I didn't show y'all if you've seen it before or not this is the coin slot coin pouch cards back here and then I keep my receipts to scan for my fetch rewards app in that little compartment so we will get into my sinking funds. Make sure that's straight. And all of the sinking funds that you see here are available in my Etsy shop, will, which will be linked down below. I have a total of 15 sinking funds. I like to take them out of the binder just because I don't like to deal with the binder. I do use um, trackers in my envelopes and I pull them out write on them all that good stuff so I just like to put the binder to the side so we are going to start with my birthday envelopes I have a set of um, light pink ombre envelopes and then underneath are um, some rose gold envelopes so let me hold on y'all I'm gonna make sure my table is not shaking too much okay starting with my birthday envelope I did increase this amount to $50 I was putting um, 20 at every stuffing but I went ahead and increased that because my birthday is less than two months away so we now have one two three four five six seven eight hundred nine hundred nine ten 
So I'm almost at $1,000 for my birthday envelope. I'm super excited about that. I think that was initially my goal was to have $1,000 for my birthday. I don't know what all I'm doing with it. I'm still trying to figure that out, but at least the money is there. My business envelope will get $10. And I will be using this money to buy myself a laptop. So in business, I have one, two hundred, two twenty two, forty, two hundred fifty. Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy a laptop. I am an Apple girl. However, I used an HP laptop for work for almost three years and I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I didn't have any problems with it. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go get get an HP. My car maintenance envelope is $20. And uh, I actually need to renew my car tag because it expired last month and I just haven't gotten around to it. So yeah, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five hundred, five fifty, five seventy, five hundred eighty. I am overdue for an oil change, car registration and tags. So that will get taken care of in my miscellaneous envelope i'm going to be adding ten dollars to that also so that gives me one hundred ten dollars in miscellaneous and this is going to my best friend's wedding which is later this year uh, bachelorette things will take place in September so and I, well, I have to buy my dress this month also so the money will go toward uh, my dress and then whatever activities we do and then whatever I need on the wedding day <laughs> and then the gifts yeah weddings are expensive okay travel is getting 50 So in my travel envelope, that's going to give me 50, 100, 120, 130, 135. So 618, I added 50 for 135. And I'm gonna need um, a, new, a new tracker. The trackers are also available in my shop. Four. Well, let's make that a little more straight. I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm a little OCD about things. I, I can be very particular. Okay. Uh, gifts will will get a fifty. I missed the church envelope again. I don't even understand how that happened. Okay. Let me see, y'all. I'm so mad at myself. I don't know how that happened. The gifts will get 50. So I have 50, 100, 105, 106, a random 106. You know what? This may be a little crazy, but I'm just going to add this dollar to my church envelope because, yeah, I'm so upset. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how that happened. I thought I went through everything, but I guess not. Okay, I added 50, now I have 105. Because I was very excited about the fact that I knew I would be adding funds to all of my sinking funds and somehow I skipped this one. So, you know what? And I don't even think I'm going to write it on there. I'm just going to add it in. So, for church, I have 50, 70, 80, 81. 
Oh, that makes me mad. <laughs> I'm so upset about it. Okay. <clears throat> Medical will get the last 50. And I did recently spend out of it yesterday to buy my contacts. So those are on the way. Thank God. 100, 200, 250, 255. So 618 at a 54, 255. I probably will throw 50 in the medical fund uh, the next several months just to feel a little bit more um, secure, I guess, about having funds for any kind of medical emergencies. So these are my light pink ombre envelopes, guys, with the Ray Dunn font, um, also known as the skinny font. And uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my rose gold envelope. Electronics will be getting $15, and I will be saving this for a new phone eventually. I definitely am content with what I have, but I know that it's getting outdated, so, you know, realistically, I'm going to have to get a new one probably within the next year or so. So I don't know. I probably need to start putting more money in here. 100, 150, 170, 180, 195. And then on top of that, like iPhones are expensive. So I may not be able to purchase, like completely pay the phone off when I buy my next one. But even if I can put like half down on it or a nice, chunk of it down then that will have me hopefully not paying on it for a long time so i don't know i wish iphones weren't so expensive i think this is why i got the iphone 8 when i got it um i, I want to say the 10 was out when i got that phone the 9 for sure but maybe even the 10 but i could pay the 8 off like i could pay it off so i went with that one because of that Emergency will get 40, so 20, 40. So in emergency, I have one, two, three, 400, 500, 550, 570, 590. I should have added another 10 to make it an even 600. Um, when I get to my thousand, I don't think I'm gonna keep adding to it when I get to a thousand, but I don't know. Y'all tell me, like, should I keep adding to it once I get there or just leave it alone and add to something else? I don't know. I've never had an emergency fund before. Functions will get $5. I'm gonna do it in ones. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So in functions, I have 50, 60, 65, 70, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70 dollars in functions. do that sometimes I put the tracker in the front so that the money can be seen in the back uh, next is giveaways and that's gonna get this five I'm gonna move this money down and I definitely am wanting to do another giveaway soon um, I was gonna wait until I hit 10,000 subscribers because it when I made that decision, my subscribers were moving kind of fast. I was literally getting like a thousand, maybe like every four to six weeks, but it slowed down a bit. I don't know if it's just the season. I don't know. It's, it's, it has slowed down. So I may have to take that number down and see about doing a giveaway when I hit maybe 8,000 subscribers. I don't know. 20, 40, 45, 50. 
but yeah so we'll see and usually i give away like amazon gift cards and stuff but i kind of want to give away some envelopes the taxes we'll get five and ones one two three four five So that gives me 100, 200, 200, 5, 210. And Christmas will get 20. So I should have 180, 100, 100, 150, 170, 180. Christmas got 24, 180. And last but not least is future. And that's going to get the last 10. And future is for literally anything in the future that comes up that I don't already have a category for. So that way, I feel like I'm kind of covered all the way around. I did have an expense for Father's Day come up. My brother wants to get my dad something expensive that I wasn't expecting. So I had to take the money out of my saving challenges. Cause I didn't want to take it from none of the sinking funds. Okay, so in future I have one, two, three hundred, three fifty, three sixty, three hundred sixty-five. So I definitely could have took the money out of here, but I don't know. I just didn't want to. So that is about it, you all. Um, that's all of my sinking funds that I have stuffed minus the church envelope that I forgot about. And um, again, sorry I haven't been on with a budget by paycheck. It's just a confusing time of the year with my money and I just don't feel like being confused. So um, hopefully I will see you all back next week for another video. Have a great weekend. Bye.